Spirit of God too. The Spirit of God, or Rachelohim has always been, always an all divine action. It is stated that the actions of God are linked to Rachelohim. The hands of God are applied in the form of Rachelohim. Rach comes from the concept Fulgo, something not visible that come from a being. The concept of breath involves an integral part of being, and an extension of being through it. In the Hebrew concept, the Rach of God is the presence of God. The direct presence of God was considered impossible for human survival, so God presented himself by his spirit. The spirit could not be defined in the same way that God could not be defined, as it is defined that the presence of God is felt in man by Rach Elohim. The quote from Rach Elohim is found in creation, and the life that comes from God is communicated by your spirit. Rach Elohim is the connection with God that gives life. Thus the Rach Elohim communicates the life of God to beings, and that is why it is defined that creation is made by God, through his Son. What is defined is that God's decisions are made reality by Rach Elohim. The Rach being the things that cannot be seen become the things that are seen. In Hebrews 11 3 by faith, we understand that it was the universe formed by the word of God, so that the visible came into being from things that do not appear. So all things came into being that do not appear. Even so the statement is that God the Father and his Son created all things and that action is founded with the performance of Rach Elohim. But we do not have a verse that says that Rach Elohim created the universe, nor is his presence placed in decisions or choices. What is observed is that as much as man and his spirit cannot be a separate being, so also God and Rach Elohim are not separate beings. As the presence of God is destructive to the life of man, God can only be present through his Rach. And so in the construction of the temple he was present, and this was demonstrated by the mist that filled the most holy. But we can see that as the spirit of man is in man, the spirit of God comes from God in John 15:26. But when the Comforter comes, which I will send you from the Father, the spirit of truth, who proceeds from him, he will testify of me. What we have is that the spirit of truth comes from the Father. The term proceed is the same contained in the text. We read in Mark 7:15, there is nothing outside a man that, when he enters him, can defile him, but what comes out of man is what contaminates him. Now the spirit of God defines what comes from the Father, and it is on his part, and as it bears witness. The term witness involves reporting the things of Christ. And we can still see that. In John 16:13, however, when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, because he will not speak for himself, but he will say everything he has heard and announce to you the things to come. What we have is that the Spirit of truth that demonstrates the truth has something interesting, it will not speak for itself, what would that mean? For example, does the spirit speak about you, that is, about you? Let's see according to Corinthians 3:17. now the Lord is the spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Now what we have is that the spirit spoke about you and says that the Lord is spirit, so where is the concept of he will not speak for himself? Simple, nowhere is the Spirit of God speaking in the first person. In other words, what the Spirit hears is what he goes through. What is continued in the text but he will say everything he has heard, so what the Spirit hears then he goes through. And what does he pass in the text? Will guide you into all truth, and what is truth? In John 14, 
6 Jesus answered him, I am the way and the truth and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me. So what the Spirit hears is what Christ says, and what Christ says the Spirit speaks to others as he has heard of Christ. So someone wrote limited by humanity, Christ could not be personally everywhere, therefore, it was for their benefit that he left them, went to his Father, and sent the Holy Spirit to be his successor on earth. The Spirit Holy is himself stripped of the human personality and independent of it. He would represent himself as present everywhere by his Holy Spirit, as the Omnipresent. So therefore, as the Spirit will not speak for itself, it is Christ who speaks. Since in 1 Timothy 2, 5 because there is one God and one mediator between God and men, Christ Jesus, man, so between God and man is Christ, like a bridge connecting man to God. What makes the whole Bible preserve its rational and logical organization? without the need to subject itself to mysteries. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasog.com website, news and detailed content can be found. With system of research and organization of text and video.